Welcome everyone. My name is Paula Phillips, also known as Journal Artiste, and it's Saturday night over on Ustream.tv. I'm pretty sure Wednesday, even though I had huge technical difficulties Wednesday, I didn't get up. I didn't get up and running till an hour and 45 an hour and 45 minutes after I was supposed to start. But I think I figured it out how what I need to do on Ustream to get it to work. <clears throat> so, anyways, um, Wednesday I did show some of these. I didn't tape it. So real quick, this, well, my mother, I'm going to blame my mother. My mother bought this uh, coloring book a while ago called One Year Wiser, the coloring book, Unwind with we Weekly Illustrative Med Meditations by Mike Medal, Med I'm the worst, Medaglia, Medaglia. So in here, there's 52, I apologize, probably butchering his name. So on one side, it shows the number of the week. Um, and then on this side, right, is everything has a different quote on it. And I just love this one. This one says, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover, Mark Twain. So this book, like I said, has 15. I'm not going to go through all of them again. It does have 15 different designs. But when I was at Chapters with my mother last Monday, she said, oh, did you see... Did you see that they had a matching book? And I said, what? A matching book? So anyways, this one's called One Year Wiser, 365 Illustrated Meditations by Mike Medaglia. And so every one of those, plus obviously way more, 300 more, Dai says, I totally love them both. So glad I bought them. Aren't they awesome? So he illustrated all of these different quotes and um, and so all the quotes in here the 52 weeks are also in here right so it's all these uplifting some are biblical verses see eternal truth needs a human language that alters with it the spirit of the times Carl Jung Wayne Dyer oh for example Many people are alive, but don't touch the miracle of being alive. Um, Thich Tat, not, I, I can never pronounce his name. Han, I'm totally a butchering and I apologize. He's a, he's a Buddhist. I actually have quite a few of his books. Anyways, um, so see what I mean, Vern? We got, here's the one. That's who I was talking about. I can't pronounce his name. Thich Nat. So, so see how it's the colored one? So I was reading chat there for a second. So you don't even have to guess if you don't want to. Or you don't have to think about it if you don't want to. I love these bad boys. I love the I love the way they feel. I think they have to be some of my newest favorite books. I mean they are one sided. They're you know, they like, they're not perforated, but it's they got a cut line down. The, that's kind of strange but anyways um, this is one of those ones I don't want to cut up but well we'll see I just love these I love love my mom also bought it of course and everyone's different everyone's illustrated by this guy <laughs> Mickey's still talking about it okay so the only art I've done all week well I did some coloring in the doodlers anonymous coloring book but uh, I've been working on I'm working on shading these flowers. You can see down here this one's this one's partially shaded, and the other half that's not shaded. Uh, anyways, I'm working on that. That's taken forever, but that's fun. And I'm doing some mandalas in this book. And I just saw more of these at Chapters on Monday. My mom bought some Happy Colors coloring book by Happiness. Happiness with a Z. So I've been coloring uh, a couple in here. I'm going to shade this bad boy. So I think I started a wave one. Anyways, I'm having fun, you know, doing a bunch of pages in that particular book. Oh, there's the wave I was working on. <laughs> All right. So tonight uh, I'm going to do some art journaling again. So on Wednesday, after all, I was so kerfuffled. <laughs> about all the technical difficulties that uh, 
that let's just say my page well it's not a flop but you know it's not exactly what i uh i mean look at see that purple it looks brown now it looks brown i guess it was so deep so deep right there um so you know i made my little work 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 things i, I gotta work through the uglies on this bad boy i think i need to add a little bit of white back in maybe it needs some words. Maybe I'll do the words in white. Anyways, we did that on Wednesday. It was quite uh, a few good laughs if you want to go watch that. All right, so I don't know. I might do two separate pages, but I'll work on two at the same time. Again, this is this is an old, uh, older Strathmore mixed media journal. I think you can get them for really cheap in the U.S. Um, and I ripped out a b half the pages. If you can see, well, not half, but a bunch of pages that I did so long ago. Of course, none of these have any dates in them on them. So anyways, I'm starting over, which means that the coil is pretty thick, pretty high up. So Wednesday was very shady. <laughs> my word, my new word is work. Oh boy. Okay. So before the show, I did uh, pick out some colors. We're going to do the whole how well Dee Dee calls it smack and dragon but i'm not sure what tim holtz calls it that's where i first saw it but i'm just going to i'm going to do a background kind of tim holtz dinah wakely style so i am i did cut out this uh i was going to put it in my dory art journal and this is very delicate my friends it's and obviously not not fussy cut very well um no this jane this is for sure not the watercolor one because i have one of those too the paper in the watercolor one is thick unless there's more unless there's like a 90 pound watercolor and a hundred and whatever or this might be bristol carry yeah it's it's not a, believe me i have I, my friend uh sharon gave me a watercolor one it's heavy i can't put my finger on it the exact second anyways this was cut out of a design originals book um I think it's called fun and funky it's it's a compilation of a few dot uh design original books it's made exclusively for michaels and uh her name is valencia harper the artist that did this you've seen me do more than one of her pages uh particularly the big one that i did that says uh oh rats i can't remember what it says <laughs> you've seen it you've seen it you know what i mean bird what does it say create joy follow your dreams i think it says okay so this is a small book this is you know the size of a smaller dilutions or similar to a moly so we shall see how this works hi colleen take a little sip of coffee Oh, yeah, Sergeant ones, Jean. You'll have to, Sergeant Art Markers. I see them all the time on Amazon. You'll have to let us know how well they work compared to, excuse me, Crayolas. So I finally filled my bottle up of water. And if you heard me rant the other time, I moved the, I moved the, not a cord. Anyways, I moved the thing so it doesn't, it doesn't bother me later. So I've only got a tiny space, right? So I don't want to use too much stuff unless it really messes up and then I'll have to do it all over again. The super tips came in and they're on the way is a hundred. Oh, I know. It's amazing that we can get a hundred in uh Crayola super tips in Canada. All right. So I think what I'm going to do to be, to get light, I, I mean, these dilutions are ridiculously pigmented, pigmentated. They have a lot of pigment, pigment. <laughs> so. I'm going to use the Dilutions Lemon Zest. So because, oh yeah, spray the cap. Um, because I'm going with the colors of that colored flower, I think I'm going to do some red and orange. This is uh, Spiced Marmalade. So I mix the Distress with the Dilutions. In my opinion, they're, 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 the, they're very similar. <laughs> do some research, Jean. That's right. So maybe I'll put a little bit of red on the, oh, that's probably too much. So there is some debate whether you spray here, you spray your page, who knows. 
pigmented. Oh, I've got, I had it right first time. So I'm going to spray my pages, see what happens. And this, I'm going to sp spray both. This is, uh, everybody cross their fingers if this works out. And it's not mud. Ho, oh, ho. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Oh, hold the fort. See, look, I, you know, there's so many techniques, but spraying the paper sure does give me the watercolory kind of look that I want. Because I guess that it pools a little bit more. Oh, I just got it on my shirt. All right, that looks good. I'm excited about that. Let me get a tag going on. So hopefully everybody else had a good week. I uh, went media free. Uh, here I thought it was a whole week, but it's only been since Wednesday. <laughs> it felt like a whole week. But I got a bunch of stuff done and read a couple, not read a couple books. I'm reading the book Wild. It, you know, it's like Eat, Pray, oh, anyways, let's stop talking. It's like Eat, Pray, Love, but uh, it's a different girl. She's going up the coast. <clears throat> The California coast, what is that called? Rats, I was just reading it. And so I'm reading Brave Enough. Some of the books, I've been reading some of the books this week that I've bought and, you know, perused, peroused. I'm trying to get my vocabulary back, my friends. I really am. <laughs> Anyways, I just got to look them over and uh, trying to, to read them. Oh, wait. Right. Darcy Pacific Coast Highway that's it all right so I wipe off my non-stick mat ketchup and mustard sweet goodness hi CB okay well I'm definitely happy with that maybe the trick for me is to spray my pages first all oh, right that's very bright but you know it everything it could be the paper that's different you know but that's that's um that's nice okay heat gun <laughs> Wait a second. Is Reese Witherspoon has have they made it into wild into a movie? Yeah, Anita has a good point. Some, sometimes you may want to use some gloves if you're using dilutions or any. So this is highly pigmented stuff, people. I think I'm almost down. Some of this red. I need to start adding water to it because, I mean, pigment's nice, but then, I mean, they are strong, which is a good thing. Heat gun. So I hope these colors go well with my, uh, flower I picked out. <laughs> I'm obviously missing a whole bunch of inside jokes. Speaking of inside jokes, if you know if you're new here, don't feel intimidated. Please, you know, jump right in. It's easy to sign up for our Ustream account. Just need to pick a nice name or any name and a password and your email and you uh, are all set. One thing if, you, if you're looking up, you're going to see social stream, videos, and chat. If you're on a computer, you go to chat. If you're on an Android tablet, if you're on an Android tablet, you go under social stream and you still see chat. I don't know what it is under <laughs> Apple. But we would love to meet you. He can. <sighs> Shelly, I want to mix some water into my dilutions. Yes, I know there's some girls in the chat that have maybe filled half a bottle, but it, I guess it depends. Do you want a red that bright? You know, <clears throat> it also makes it go, you know, a little bit more bang for your buck. But I know quite a few 
ladies have done that. Makes it go a little bit, a little bit longer. Peek on. Yeah, they're not like fast necessarily. They're definitely not permanent. The iPad only shows chat. Thanks, thanks, Robin. Peek on. An iPad goes a chat now. Hey, Denise. So we're, I believe that we're a, a great group with many wonderful people in it, and we would love to chat. Hi, hey, Ali. All right, I think we're. I think we're dry. I think I'm going to do two different things. Uh, look at how nice that is. I'm liking those. The, I think, like I said, the key for me, wet the paper first. All right, so that's that's some contrast there, my friends. Let's go over here. Maybe that's a little bit nicer for a little bit more subtle. I'll probably cut that wing off, the wing. I'll probably cut that little thing we do off. Well, let's do the next step anyways, and then, then we'll audition it, see where it wants to go. I have to almost, oh, sorry, it's so, <laughs> it's so delicate, so delicate. All right, so I think I'm going to do that whole technique. I've seen Diane Reevely, uh do it, of course. Hmm. I've got this one stencil from Stencil Girl. And uh, I think I've jelly plated it with it once, but I think it might be nice in this particular instance. I'm looking for a name. This is from Stencil Girl Products, and it doesn't have anybody's name on it. Usually it says, usually it says uh, who the designer is, so I apologize for that. So I'm just going to take my baby wipe. I think Diane Reevely might spray it, or, you know, maybe it's Dina Wakely. I kind of get them all confused. To be honest. So I might Yeah, I'm gonna try and put water. That's what they that's why they do it. <laughs> Listen to the experts. It is that's definitely delicate delicate like a flower. All right, let me see if I can uh oh look, I'm gonna go right through the other page. And I'm probably doing this upside down. And I just made a hot mess of that one. This is real life, people. <laughs> As a just thanks, Rain. As a Jessica Sporn design. Oh boy, oh boy. Martha doesn't own any coloring books. Well, it, it's got to be your thing, right? You need smoothest smooth paper. Yeah, look. Hot mess. Maybe I wasn't supposed to dry it, but that's bad news. Going all the way through, bad news. So, option number two. And that's the thing. Not every technique's going to work for you the first time. Hey, gun. Ink tents. Your ink tents are missing. What? Yeah, so... Maybe you weren't supposed to let it dry. Maybe it was the wrong kind of paper. Maybe I did it completely wrong. We'll just, uh, we'll just move on. Try something different. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have to use some dilutions paint here but maybe i wonder what would happen if i just sprayed a tiny bit uh oh there's lots of water on this sorry gotta rub them on my art pants in the prima sharpener i i don't have a prima sharpener what what prima sharpener they do in the uh automatic sharp the uh look at <laughs> They work. They work in the automatic sharpener, except if you have like, you know, when you have this piece of barcode, 
the barcode's got issues. That has a hard time because the Ink Tense pencils are a little bit thicker. So, so I think let's try. I'm I'm just gonna. I like this page look, you know, a little bit better. So let's see what happens if I try some pink. A tiny bit of pink could be a hot mess, but you know. Not everything is going to turn out. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. This is what happens when you try to do something at the same time as watching chat. <laughs> oh, Prisma. Uh, hmm, where is my Prisma <laughs> at this moment? <laughs> I will definitely get back to back to you on that. Oh, sweet love and goodness. Well, I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I need to drink more coffee. That's <laughs> hold the fort. So what do we learn? You're not. You shouldn't put your hand there. <laughs> you're not supposed to put that your hand there when you're uh, when you're spraying. This look, it's gonna be a how not to video. Your favorite ones. How not to. Everybody's favorite show. <laughs> how not to use dilutions. Oh boy. But see, let me tell you, that's how much pigment they have in them. All right, I'm trying to make sure I'm not, I'm not doing this upside down. You know, I have problems. All right, it does go that way. <laughs> that was so bad. It was econ. Yeah, shampoo actually. I <laughs> Kelly and says I think you need to drink less coffee. Adult beverage time. Oh no. Yeah, good thing I don't have anywhere to go. I gotta go to the post office again Monday, so hopefully it'll be gone by then. He got it. Oh my. What was I thinking? Seriously. <laughs> So originally I was thinking that I'm going to, I'm going to add some black in there. Um, see, if, for example, if I, I got to be careful. It's a delicate flower. You know, if I had something going on like this, I was thinking about, you know, a darker border. Now I could do a little black, which was what, uh, what my original thought was add a little black in the background. Cause very much, you know, even though I didn't color every tiny circle, there it it is outlined the whole thing like, there is black all over there so if i used a dark orange it would look like a henna tattoo what on my hand or <laughs> on the page <laughs> oh my goodness oh my okay so that's why i was thinking i'll add in a little black not sprayed black though you know sometimes i don't know about you guys obviously you have a little spray challenge tonight sometimes it gets a little splotchy and sometimes you you know you get a good one i think what i need to do too is put it into smaller bottles i mean these bad boys i mean they cover they spray so let's try since we're kind of doing you know two different ones tonight and i'm gonna you know if one page hopefully they'll look a little bit different but doesn't mean I have to, uh, no splots. <laughs> Anyways, I could always, I'm going to use the other page for a quote. It actually might be kind of nice for a two-page spread, which I haven't done in a while. All right. But I'm trying to use some stuff up. All right. 
So that pink I used was bubblegum pink. I think she has a darker one maybe I should have used. <clears throat> I have them, uh, well, like everything, I have them swatched somewhere, but never close to what I'm supposed, where I'm supposed to be doing it, right? All right, let's see. I think this is an Andrew Barlow stencil from Stencil Girl. I think, well, maybe, maybe I won't because that's pretty similar to that star design. Oh, well, this Carolyn Dubé stencil. Hmm. Hmm. Let's let's test it out. I want to see what it looks like if I stipple some black through it. What it's going to look like. This one's uh, it's L two four eight. It's one of her architecture type stencils, which I love. And let's see. Yeah, some affirmations. What would Paula do? She would paint. You got to work out the look. Oh my gosh! I already had paint right there. It's going to be one of those nights. On Wednesday, I was, you know, whoever was here thought it was hilarious. I guess I did too in the end. Um, where's my spouncer? I was looking for a piece of paper. I'm like, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Of course, I'd already glued it down. Glued it onto my project already. All right. Hey, Cherry. Cherry. Can you flip it over? Flip over this stencil? You got me confused, Darcy. Or the whole page? I'm just going to test it out. See what it's going to look like. So I don't want to, you know, stencil the whole thing. See, it's not good. You won't be able to see it well enough on this particular thing. That's what I figured. Not that it's bad. It's just not perfect for this page. So maybe I will go back to, well, heck, we'll do another shameless plug. I'm going to have to use, the stencils are all stuck together. going to have to use my drink some coffee stencil because it's that type of night. All right. Like I said, shameless plug. These are my own stencils you can get from Stencil Girl products. All right, I'm going to put this here. I'm just going to go for it. Could be a hot mess. Could work out. Oh, something about Caliente say something. To flip it over. All right. Let's see. This is just some Liquitex Basics uh, black paint and a spouncer. I actually got some new ones too. Darcy gave me these, but uh, I did order some new ones off of Amazon that were fairly reasonable. But I think those in the U.S. can get them a lot cheaper than us in Canada. So just taking a peek, and I think just a tiny bit up in this corner because it seems like that's where I keep going with this. So I'm not, it's been a while since I've used a coiled, you know, I shouldn't say a while. I've been using that other book as a leftover journal, but I've been doing most of my art recently in composition books. So I haven't used a journal you know, very often with a razor frazzin spine, coil bound spine. Sometimes they can get right in the way. Oh, your cutting mat curled. Hmm. Well, got to kind of, oh, I, I moved it there. What I would do is put it on you know, because you warped it to one side with heat. Oh boy, I shouldn't say it, because then, then people, then you know, if it, then I'll have to owe somebody a cutting mat if it doesn't work. 
But, you know, what I would do is uh, I would heat it the other way that it's going and then put it underneath something really flat. Right? <clears throat> okay, I'm liking the way that looks. If I do say so myself. I'm just making little circles down here. I don't like to waste any paint. And uh, these spouncers, you know, they can have a lot of paint left over in them. So it's kind of fun to make some dots. Then you can, you know, the fun thing about these, or the nice thing about those, um, you can rewash them and use them over and over. I kind of got away from using them for a long time, eh? I'm not sure why. Under it. Night, Orla. Egon. I just love how it looks over here. Just saying. <laughs> Sorry, Kelly, a day. <laughs> Just, you never know, right? I'm not necessarily you, but somebody else out there that send me some nasty message on on uh, YouTube. Not not necessarily you. Don't don't get me wrong. But I would put it warp side down, heat it, and then put books on it. That's how we used to flatten the book, try to flatten the corrugate. All right, so we got all this dry. Now we can test. Maybe it's not quite dry. Good. Janice, they're, they're the 27th through the 31st, I believe. Is that what it says? Or 29th? Sorry, my mind is shot. The, I'm the last person you should ask in cons considering the mistake I made. All right. So this is why I kind of auditioned it because now that I put this bad boy on there, you know, it kind of gets lost in that black. Not that this is a bad page, right? It's just something a little bit different. Hey, Emma. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's not bad. It's just not quite right. You know, I would have to... Well, even then, if I put white around it, the dilutions are just going to come right out. So the second idea I thought was taking this and just doing one stencil in the background in a green similar to this. So I thought about... <clears throat> hey, Sherry. I thought about using the 27th to the 30th. Holy smokers. I'm the worst. Um, I thought about using the cut grass. I think that'll be half decent, eh? I think it'll look good. So I did get some, I got some extra spray off of that. That's for sure. Okay. So thinking about this now, what stencil? Well, maybe now that I know, so talking out loud again, talking out loud to myself, you know, I'd probably be doing that anyways, if you guys weren't here. <laughs> so, so, you know, I don't feel too bad. Oh, this would be a perfect time to use that Maria Maguire's doily. I have that one stuck in my head now. Stuck in my head to use, that is. Wow, I can't seem to find it right now. So here I thought was all, I was all, all right, I'm going to use, this is a Mary Beth Shaw stencil. Like I said, I'm trying to get some squiggly squigglies. They're not quite circles, but we'll, we'll work it. Okay, so this time I'm going to do kind of the same thing. Well, what do you think my coffee cups would look good? Everybody's talking blow dryer. Everybody's talking about other stuff, which is cool. 
<clears throat> okay. I think I'm just going to go, just so we see the difference, I'm going to use that, my drink some coffee stencil again, if I can figure out where I just put it. What is the worst? Worst comes to worst, we'll just have to do the whole thing again. Right? Oh, there's an Oak Island. Where's Dee Dee at? There's an Oak Island marathon being taped right now. And they're all enhanced episodes. Look out. Enhanced episodes. Okay. So this time I'll have to be very careful. I don't get any black in it. All right. So this time, oh, I better take a baby wipe. I don't normally use my, clean my stencils, as you can tell, but I better. Yeah, I put the, I put my flower, Jane, thanks, on the top of the Mary Bright envelope. The flower I'm going to glue down eventually. But yeah, as I was saying, so there's the coil in that journal that I'm restarting again. But then there's also the size. Uh, you know, what's a composition book size? 14 by something? Uh, anyways, 9 by 11. Anyway, it's bigger. So it's like the jelly plates. I changed to a different size and I've got to get... I've got to get them all <clears throat> recording something. Oh, your enhanced episodes. <laughs> <sighs> all right. So let's try with green. Well, green's complementary to red, right? So we should we should be okay. And I want, you know, I'm using paint because I want more of a crisp look than, say, uh, a spray would give me. See the jelly bean houses in Newfoundland? I would love to go back to Newfoundland again. I don't know about this time of year, but... All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of a, out here. That might be enough. We shall see. No, there, I'll say it again. There's definitely something different about Dilution's paint. And I actually really like it. Um, I, don't, I can't explain what the difference is. But uh, it kind of reminds me of nail polish. No, so here's the thing. It's um, promoted as being a paint that dries really quick. But if you have it in more of a thicker layer, it doesn't dry. It actually, in my humble opinion, in my research testing, it actually takes longer to dry than, say, Liquitex Basics. Um, but, you know, anything dries really quick if you only use a very thin amount. But it's true that, you know, you have to use way less. And this does go over pretty much everything. Now, we'll see. We'll see if this, sorry, I'm trying to do more than one thing at the same time we'll see if this uh, if the red comes up through this paint but it shouldn't I gotta fix that in a second here everybody's talking about doing their own dilution things I just have to go down here Alright, so it's a little bit of texture. Obviously, my stamps are, or my stencils, they don't have to be used as copy cups, even though they are, even though they do look like coffee or tea cups. Oh, we got caught. So I think I need a little bit more paint. Right, read in the chat. So I guess you do, you know, have to put a little bit more on if I want it to get it a real, you know, solid color. Let's take a peek. 
So we'll see. I could have made this page better. I, we could have made it worse. But what I do know is red and green are contrast colors. So it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> We're one step in the right direction. All right. I'm trying to make, you know, these pages. Let's see. I've got a little bit of something here. I wanted these pages to be a bit simpler, especially a bit more simple. Um, you know, when you have a coloring, you have a focal image that's pretty um, busy like that, or you want to, you know, I want it to stand out, then you want, I want to go more subtle with the background. Now, for me, some people may not think this bright red and green and yellow is very subtle. But for me, it's subtle because there's not a lot going on. You know, you're, normally I, uh, you know, I'd have lots of layers and, and all that fun stuff. But I, I don't think I want that. Just want a simple background, you know, to let the, the flower shine. Let the flower bloom. All right. I don't know what everybody's talking about. <clears throat> oh, paper? Pattern paper? Who doesn't have that problem? Okay. Whoa. See, right here, there's a tiny spot that's just a little... Oh, better dry this first. He gun. Really? They have two songs written about Oak Island. Oh, I'd love to. I can't wait to, to see those. He can. Cosmo Cryptic Lorient. Is that new or old? It's like I said, it, it almost reminds me of this paint. Of uh, nail polish. That's pretty much the only thing I compare it, can compare it to. I don't know. I don't know what's different about it, but it's awesome. And this one was Dilution's paint in uh, grass green? Cut grass. I knew it was something like that. Okay. So what do you guys think? I've got a live audience over here who love to give me their opinion. <laughs> Even when I don't want it. So we'll have to see what they say when I do want it. I think it depends. Everybody's talking about sorting again. The way your brain thinks. If you have a good memory like I do, I sort my paper by manufacturer because that's... I guess it's since working in the scrapbook store, that's what I've always, you know, everything was by manufacturer. So, or the store that I liked was that way. I'm thinking about, I need just a little bit of something in the background. Maybe I need to find a stamp that has some circles in there or something. There's just a lot of circles going on here. Yeah, you won't be disappointed in the Dilution's paint. Save your money with the Dina Wakely paints. I love Dina Wakely taking her class. Don't get all flustered with me. But in my research, in my testing, including the exact same colors, I found they were like Liquitex Basics. But, you know, everybody teach their own. I'd rather save money, you know, not buying the Di Dina Wakely paints and buy all the dilutions. So I was looking for some stamps. <clears throat> the leaves get sort of lost. I had green rain, so that's why I'm thinking I need to have just a tiny bit of black. Oh, Oak Island show is funny. That's good, but it, anyways, we won't go there again. Ooh, look at the little Tracy Bautista stamp I found, which I have obviously treasured. Um, what else we got? 
Speaking of Dina Wakely, I got one of her cool stamps. See, I support Dina Wakely. <laughs> I love Dina Wakely. I just wish her paints were so ex so expensive when they're the same as Liquitex Basics. Anyway, uh, this was a Stampington one, I believe. That might be too big. I like this. I'm looking for something roundish, though, which could be a while. In my place. Um, oh, the Tracy Bautista corrugate. Yep. I do have the Tracy Bautista. See, it's a girl. With written, written, uh, what did she call this one? I actually got them on Etsy, on her Tracy Bautista's Etsy. And then you get, like, you know, a couple goodies. A couple of her goodies. One, you know what, now that I think about it, one was on back order, which I never did get, but that's okay. I love Tracy Bautista. Sorry, I'm taking one quick look over here. Oh, what about this one? Uh, we're going to addition some of these stamps here in a second. Hold the fort. Or, first off, okay, we're just going to use what we have. I know I've got... I can go and find some circle stamps, but <sighs> yeah, it's okay. I've got this one. Oh, I think this is from Fiskars or Hampton Arts. This is an old, old bad boy, but see, it's got some circles. What worries me about this is that it's very square, which we can, we can do that. We can work with that or else this is a Prima one from years ago, but see how it's a flower. But it's it's hard to explain. It's almost like sewing. It's like um, dashes instead of. I don't know if you can see that clearly or not. Instead of full lines, they're dashes. So that would give me a very faint type of thing. Or Tracy Bautista graffiti glam stamps. These are Stampington ones from 2012. But this one, I think I would use this one in black. So, green is Fiskars. Yeah, Fiskars. So, what do you guys think? This one? This one might be nice, too. And so, when I say I'm going to stamp it, I mean, I'm only going to be a very light, not a full ink pad even, not a full ink stamp, just for a little texture. Or, you know, you can go, to, go for some good old script. Well, here's what we can do. We can audition it over here. I'm going to find a... Uh, no carpet tape needed on this bad boy. It's got its own self-sticking thing <laughs> on the block. It's also foam mounted, so I don't need to put anything underneath it. All right, let's try it over here. Don't go away, Mr. Flower. Let's see. Find a black ink pad. Let's see. Well, looks like I'm not going to... See, this is what kind of bothers me, is that it's more of a square. Even though, you know, even though it circles, it ends up in a square. You guys and your bargains in the U.S., I'm just a little jello, but then you know. We've got Dollarama, so we have some. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, it's, I'll do it over here. See how it's just a little. a little something? Don't you think that would be nice? Or lastly, why did I get a different block when it's actually, anyways, one more, we'll try that, we'll audition the other one, I 
All right, so see what the Prima, Prima looks like this, the Tracy Bautista stamp, the circle one. I like the circles, but I wish it was, I wish they weren't bunched together. Oh, I'm not going to get out that stamp bin. No. So which, which flower one? You think the Tracy Bautista one? Which one we think? That's true, Sherry. We do have, you know, or that's right. We also got the Prismas 150 for 100 bucks Canadian. Nobody's telling me. So I think I'm just going to make my own choice. <laughs> Where's Linda? The one time. I've been to a couple Tuesday mornings in, in Buffalo, but uh, hmm, now that I put that there. Now I've got, now I've got me thinking even more. I need to drink some coffee. See, this is why you should log in and help. Darcy said, "Please." A swirly flower one. <laughs> I'm trying to listen, Linda. I'm trying to listen. And this time, nobody's talking to me. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Nobody's talking to me. I'm just teasing. I will. I'm going to go with my instinct, see what happens. What's the worst I could do? Plus, I haven't used this one. So, I'm tapping it lightly, actually. And I'll go over here. Especially since I haven't used the Tracy Bautista stamp. I love Tracy Bautista. I have both of her books. I think they're fabulous. Alright. See, I didn't want to put too many. Didn't, oh, I'm not even on camera. See? <laughs> it's the lag circles. <laughs> Blame the lag. All right, what do you guys think? So I know this side's distracting, so let's move this over. You know, if you like to tangle, doodle, all that stuff, it would been it would have been nice to, um, it would have been nice. To do some of that in the background instead. Oops, not that far. What? Her dog was attacked by a bigger dog. Oh no. I was asking her because one of her dogs is about is a Morky. That's part of the reason why I got a Morky. Um because of Tracy Bautista's. I love her dogs. So Let's see. If we think about thirds and all that fun stuff, let's put that in there. Now I'm going to have to outline this somehow, right? Thanks, everyone. I'm definitely going to have to outline this somehow. You know what? I'm thinking again. This, I think Jean's going to agree with me. I think this calls, well, I was going to say, I think this calls for some white circles. White toilet paper circles, but uh, let me see if I have a paper, toilet paper roll. But then I'm just thinking in my head, hmm, if I did some of those white circles, even if I used white paint, this is going to come through, right? Hey, Janie, think it needs some script? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna put a put something on there eventually. I could use I'm thinking again. Now you got me really thinking. No, once the dilutions paint is there, but yeah, 
if I start using white on this, it's not going to be white, which might be okay too. It's going to be a different color. Let's see if Simon can help us. You want to pass me a toilet paper roll? Not the whole roll, just the inside. Please. <laughs> We're going to confuse Simon. But yeah, you're right. Where can we put some script? Especially if it's Tracy Bautista inspired. Tilt it more to the left. Well, I want it to be in that quadrant. Or not quadrant. But I think I need some down here, right? Too much green and green here. Thanks. Well, he gave me... All right. Let's see. We definitely need... Let's put some white in there. See what happens. This would be good. This is where I need to use some of that stuff that Xandra gave me. The Tim Holtz uh, Distress Glaze. Let's see. But this might be an interesting effect using some of the white. Sarah, are you joking? Put some crackle on it? You know I'm lacking cracking over here. I am crackled. Anyway, we won't go there. We won't go through that again. If you see my video on crackling, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me use a palette knife to spread this around a little bit. I am crackle challenged over here. All right, let's see how much we can. Let's see. So as I said, this some of this dilutions is going to come up. So uh, I'm hanging some of it off the edge there. So it could be interesting. Yeah. I did some crackling years ago, but you think I can't for the life of me. So a little bit. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. But my friend is right. I need to add... Maybe this is where I need to bust out the paint pens, Jean. I think I'll add a little bit of the white over here, too. I don't know where this is going. Maybe I'll just put a quote. But it's kind of pretty. This should break up the black of my stencil. So if you if you're looking for you know perfect circles, toilet paper roll is probably not your best bet. But it's fun. Those are a lot thicker. Maybe I need to add oh, not on camera. Excuse me, I'm not used to this closer up. When I was working in a composition book, you definitely didn't have to be so close. All right. I'm just going to 